What's up guys and welcome to episode number 6 in the Star of Andorn 2017 mod career mode with McLaren Honda. In this episode we are here at Monte Carlo. Unfortunately I couldn't get the, uh, unfortunately I couldn't mod it so Button is in Alonso's place. Because obviously Alonso did not take part. But Star of Andorn did take part. And this, this time in qualifying he did crash out but fortunately for us we're not going to crash out and we're going to finish. In P7, no P8, unfortunately, we drop a place there, but P8 is a good place. I think we dropped it to Alonso, yep. So it's 1 2 for Mercedes, and then Ricardo, Vettel, Verstappen, Riken, and then it's 2 McLaren, then it's Sergio Perez, and Lance Stroll completes the top 10. Without further ado, let's get into the race. Well, hello and welcome to a very special race here today. We have some marvellous machines down on the grid that in just a few moments will be accelerating up to some really high speeds indeed to compete for a prestigious Grand Prix victory. So let's take a look at the race strategy. Uh, it's going to be clear all day in Monaco. I'm just going to go for a one stop hopefully with the ultra soft to super soft transaction. And uh, here we go then uh, with the fake tyres. Uh, we have five lights. Out of the Monaco Grand Prix and it's lights out and away we go. We get a decent start. Look at this passing Vettel there. Pulling out into the middle of the track. We get a decent start. We get past our teammate Fernando Alonso. Can we get past the Red Bull for Stappen? No, we can't. We're going to have to follow him through. And he's going side by side with Kimi Raikkonen. No, he can't quite get past, unfortunately, for him. But we're right behind the Deutschman's tail and we're trying our best to try and get past. We go a bit wide there. But Stroll now is ahead of Alonso. And there uh, we go on to the tunnel section here when the safety car has been deployed. Um, it's a bit, there's a couple of cars near the um, hairpin. And I don't really know what's happened. We're going to have to take a replay of what happened. So on board with Rio Harian, who's side by side with Danny Kvyat. Uh, so did something happen here then? He, go, he gets past Danny Kvyat. But um, it seems like the whole field, just, they all just bunch up and they all just hit each other. Uh, I need to get another replay, and we do get that with Roman Grosjean on board here. You can just see he's behind, um, no, no, he's ahead and of Harry Anto, but I think they just like, I think, I don't think he just, I didn't think he just expected it to be honest, and like, he just went into the back of, I think that was a Force India, and then, yeah, I think all the, all the drivers behind just, didn't break um, earlier, but yeah, move on to the end of the city car period now. On that four, I'm gonna try and do the switch jack move on the Stappen. Can't quite make it stick though. I was gonna try and maybe get him down, start finish straight. Can we go down the inside? Can we go around the outside? What are we gonna do? No, start finish straight. It's just not long enough in Monaco for us to make a move. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to wait to the end of the lap five, where we are going purple in the sectors, and we are catching up to Stappen. I'm gonna do the switch jack move. We're gonna try it around the outside. Do we have a better exit? Yes, we do. And now side by side, and we passed Max Verstappen, so we get up into P6, onto lap six. We are up into six. So that twice. Don't know why, but yeah. Uh, onto lap 14 now, because nothing happened. I mean, Monaco, you we don't really expect much to happen apart from the pit stops. I mean, we're finding the pit stops, but Verstappen is right behind us here. We can see. So we are, Jeff asked us if we want to try a new strategy, but we're going to wait onto the next lap, onto lap 15, where we will come into the pits for our, hopefully, our one and only stop. So we come to the pits now, Verstappen doesn't come into the pits, but Lance Stroll does. So it'll be interesting to see what Verstappen does, if he can, um, it will, he, probably, he probably will pit on the next lap. Uh, but will he, will he overcut work for us? Will he undercut work for us? So we put on some super soft tyres, and we're you know, obviously ahead of Stroll, and um, you can all the fake tyres that glitch in the replays. And uh, we just come out ahead of this pack, which is vital. I think it's Harrianto, and maybe, I don't know, I think it's Gutierrez, um, Kvyat, and I think also Haas involved there. But we see that the safety car is brought out again, and unfortunately I have no idea why this came out. Um... Uh, I don't, I don't have a clue why this came out, but I uh, sorry, I have no replays. Like no one retired. No, I, I have no idea. But here we see Verstappen 
has not pitted yet. So people gain an advantage. Look, Kimi Raikkonen is in the lead at the moment. There's Hamilton on the left hand side you saw there going into Raskas. And um yeah, is Raikkonen going to come out in the lead of this race? The safety car has benefited both him and Verstappen because they basically get a free pit stop. That is Austria, that is Lewis Hamilton there. And um I think it's Hamilton ahead of Raikkonen. Yes. Hamilton is re regains the lead of the Monaco Grand Prix from Raikkonen, from Bottas, from Ricardo, from Sebastian Vettel, and then is Verstappen ahead of us? Yes, he is. There's us. Verstappen is ahead of us. Thanks, thanks for that safety car. He is now in back into sixth place. But if we go, in, oh my God, we've made contact. We've gone right into the rear end of Verstappen, on into the tunnel, and we've lost our front wing, and we need to come, what a stupid move by me, and that was, I don't know what's going through my head at this moment, we have to come into the pit, and I do a risky move there, and Vettel, we need to make contact with Vettel though, but I'm just going to um, go as fast as possible, because I'm not going to get a penalty for this, because I've still got loads of, loads of time. To uh, give them positions back, but I don't really need to give them positions back because we're going into the pits. We're going to lose a lot of time here because we're going to. Because we just have to. Yeah, we're going to have a tire change as well as a nose change. This is just not going to work for us whatsoever. We're going to be outside of the points. This is not going well for us. We're running in seventh place, having a great race. I'm trying to look to try and get past the staff and after the safety car period, but now. Now we can't. We're ahead of the Haas driver. Of oh, I think that is Roman Grosjean, but I'm not 100 sure. Right, we come out. Do we come out ahead of Marcus Ericsson? Yes, we do. Where is it? We've come out in P14. Not good. As you can see on lap 20, we have uh, Esteban Gutierrez who's ahead of us, and we're going to try and get past and do do the move what we did on the Sap and hopefully. As it's green flag racing, we are away. We are racing in Monaco. And here we see we're going to try the switching move on Gutierrez. And it's quite easy considering he's in a manner. Make our way up into P13. And that is a, that is a false India of Esteban Ocon. And as we try on lap 25, I mean, we've been fighting for a while. But um, not really fighting, but I've been right behind him for a while. And we get past Ocon into 12th place. <laughs> And it's signed next ahead of us on the soft tyres. I can see Nigga Holmberg is out of the race, and just like, just like in real life, he's out from an engine failure. It's unfortunate for Holmberg, but this time he was running like outside of the points and like way down the order. I think he was last. But I see, can't really pull away from Ocon. I'm trying to get to Sainz, but we can't really pull away from him on the next lap. But unfortunately, we get a puncture. Our tyre punctured our, our rear left has a puncture and it's just a disaster for us. This race is getting from bad to worse. You can see all these um, drivers, Grosjean, Kvyat, Verline, Harman, they all want to get past me. So move on to the end of that lap and we are coming in now for a set of ultra soft tyres. I just have to make sure that... Um, I think that I, I think I was changing the tire there, or maybe I was changing the wind, wing, something like that. I thought I was quite slow, but this, this is we are back of the pack. We this is this is not going to end well for us. Onto the onto the ultra softs we go. Well, there's nothing really to fight for, to be honest. We, I mean, we're getting close to being lapped at this point. Um. Let's just move on to lap 28. Now Ocon's come to the pit, so I think he made contact with someone. Maybe it was me, I'm not sure. Let's move on to the um, casino section, and we have another puncture. And at this point, I might, I'm just going to retire from the race. I crashed. Sorry. Copy. Turn the car fully off, Stoffel. If you're okay, turn the car fully off. So, that didn't really end well for us. Unfortunately, we are out. We did not finish the like Monaco Grand Prix. Hamilton though did, then he came first. Then it's Kimi and Vettel makes it a 2-3 for Ferrari. Bottas comes over in fourth. Ricardo in fifth. Verstappen in sixth. Fernando Alonso good result for us in McLaren. 
uh, Marseille and Seoul make it 8 and 9, and Paris finish off the top 10. So, as we look at the driver standings, we can see Lewis Hamilton who still has a lead from Valtteri Bottas in second with 103 points. Then it's Kimi, Ricardo, and Vettel all only separated by 6 points in third, fourth, and fifth. Verstappen in sixth, Stroll in seventh place. And then it's us in eighth after not scoring today. Alonso did score today, he scored six good points for the team, so he's now behind us in ninth. Ocon in tenth, Massa in eleventh, Sainz in twelfth, and Perez scores one point in thirteenth. And then Grosjean, Magnussen, and Kvyat remain the same on two, one, one point respectively. Moving over to the constructor standings then, Mercedes obviously regain the not regain the lead but they've been there and been in the lead for a while now. Um, they are on 221 points ahead of Ferrari, 156, Red Bull on 111. Uh, it's McLaren and Williams still only separate by that one point after both scored six points respectively. And then Toro Rosso in in um, seventh with eight points and Haas in with three points. So guys, that is going to be the end of the video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel. And that'll do it for me. Catch you guys in the next video.